Multiple Sclerosis Fast Facts Multiple sclerosis, MS, produces life-changing physical symptoms as well as neuropsychiatric and mental health problems, affecting an estimated 2.3 million worldwide. It occurs due to inflammation and degeneration in the central nervous system, CNS. Although the cause remains unknown, malfunctions in the immune system are central. In most cases, MS is characterized by periods of relapse and remission. Prevalence is gauged by rates of diagnosis, but there is a lack of published data from many countries, which may lead to underestimation. Disease burden follows a latitudinal gradient in which countries above the equator show higher rates of the disease. Women are two to three times more likely to be affected than men, and sex hormones likely influence the onset of the disease. Many environmental factors may also increase the risk of MS, including low levels of ultraviolet light exposure, lack of vitamin D in the diet, infection with Epstein-Barr virus, smoking, and migration. Genetics also play a role. Although people have a higher risk if a family member has been diagnosed, no causative gene has been found. Genes that code for a component of immune cells called the major histocompatibility complex are variable between populations and races. Neuropathological examinations have revealed numerous physical characteristics of MS. The CNS is made up of gray matter containing the cell bodies of neurons and white matter, which mostly consists of myelinated axonal projections linking the CNS to the muscles and effector organs of the body. Myelin is a fatty sheath surrounding nerves and is essential for maintaining fast and efficient nerve communication. Lesions in white matter are typically seen in MS due to the destruction of myelin and surrounding inflammation. These are variable in size and number, but progressively worsen with time. Gray matter lesions also occur and become more prominent over time. These changes are associated with synaptic damage in the cortex and are likely responsible for the cognitive effects and irreversible disability observed in MS. The loss of oligodendrocytes in newly formed lesions is thought to progress myelin destruction and inflammation. Acute MS lesions appear abruptly and predominate in the early relapsing phase, but eventually become chronic, devoid of myelin with few oligodendrocytes. Components of the nonspecific immune system, known as macrophages, play a significant role in damaging myelin. Their activity may be directed by T-cells and facilitated by the release of cell contents as cells are broken down, although this view is not shared by all scientists. Regardless of the initiating factor, myelin loss occurs rapidly after symptoms appear. Nerve impulses are slowed or even completely blocked, resulting in progressive muscle weakness. In the relapsing phase, recovery can be seen temporarily due to naturally occurring remyelination. Unfortunately, this default response to myelin loss is not able to keep up as the damage becomes more extensive. Elucidating the mechanisms of remyelination would be extremely helpful in the development of new therapies. Indeed, Antilingo-1, which can promote remyelination, has completed phase two trials for a different disease with promising results. Future trials of Antilingo-1 could represent an exciting new avenue in the development of much-needed treatment for MS.